Hi, I'm Dominic Vigliotti, Director of Sales and Marketing at Long Island Compost. For the last 25 years, Long Island Compost has been the leading supplier of compost, topsoil, engineered soils, and wood mulch in Metro New York. Recently, we joined with the leader in the turf grass industry, Dr. Clark Frossel, to talk about the benefits of improving turf with compost. Clark has spent 15 years as a professor at Purdue University where he taught turf grass science. He provides the latest research information to professional turf grass managers through his extension programs. In 2001, Clark joined the Golf Course Superintendents Association of America where he served as director of research. Currently, he writes two columns each month in the Golfton Magazine where he serves as research editor. In addition to Clark's expert opinion and analysis, we went to talk to some of our longtime customers to hear directly from them which of Long Island Compost's products they use, how they use them, and how they achieve their amazing results. If you're a professional landscaper, a university or high school turf and field manager, Long Island Compost has a top dressing, a top soil, an engineered soil, a compost or mulch that can help make your job a terrific success. Please listen to Dr. Clark Throssell and what he has to say on improving your turf with compost. Well, thanks for coming today and I'm happy to be here to talk to you about uh, improving turf with compost. And to me, this is an old idea that's new again. And using uh, compost on turf was commonly done in the uh, 1900s, 1910, 1920, 1930s, and then it's something that's uh, fallen out of favor a little bit, but it's a great idea, a great principle, and I'm glad you're here today to uh, learn a little bit more about it. So let's get started. I put this slide in to show you uh, where we're headed. This just is a uh, site of uh, existing turf being top dressed with compost, but just gives you a feel for what we're going to talk about today. To set the stage for my presentation, uh, why use compost on turf, and I think of it as uh, a very fundamental principle of soil science. When I was a student and when I had a chance to teach, we would talk about ways to improve soil, and the easiest way to improve soil is to add organic matter to it, and that's what compost is. Uh, and so by adding compost, it gives you the opportunity to improve the physical, chemical, and biological properties of the soil. My name is Eric Pomiso. I own GrowKind Organics. I am a fully 100% full maintenance organic gardening service. I've been maintaining uh, properties on Long Island for over 25 years. Primarily, I use a lot of their compost blends, like this one. This here is a special blend that they make that's 50% black gold compost and 50% peat moss. I like the fact that it's very fine. I'll get really good coverage. I like the fact that I could get special blends. Nobody else is making special blends. You, you, you can't get that from like some sod farm or something. I've been very happy with pretty much everything I've ever picked up there. I've never had a problem of anything being uh, anaerobic. I've, I've never had any uh, complaints at all. You know, when I, when I say a product is gonna get delivered, timing, it's there. It's there, I'm waiting for it, I'm never waiting for it. A lot of times when I get product, uh, I ask for five yards, they tend to be a little more generous with me, maybe because I've been around long, I don't know. But <laughs> I want to talk now about using compost on turf sites. And I broke this down to make it easy for me to think about, but uh, I think of two different ways. You can either incorporate it into the soil before you would seed or sod, or you can top dress on an existing turf. And so we'll talk about each of those, or both of these, and uh, I'll give you some ideas, suggestions on how this might work. First of all, if you're gonna incorporate it into the soil, it's a new establishment, there's no turf on the site, it's just bare soil, uh, the first thing you'd like to do is till the soil. And till that soil to a depth of about four to six inches to help start to create a good seed bed uh, or a good sod bed for uh, however you're going to establish. Then when it comes to the compost, you have to make a judgment call. Uh, and this is based on the quality of the soil. Put the compost down at about a one inch depth all over the area you want to establish if the soil is in this marginal uh, to good category. If the soil is very poor, uh, like a subsoil, let's say you've been left with a subsoil after a home was built or a new commercial building was built and there's just subsoil, uh, go to the two inch depth. 
and it will help improve the quality of that soil and long haul make the turf site the turf will perform much better and make your life a lot easier so that's the that's the a good rule of thumb and uh, 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 over time these amounts have been proven to be very effective the next thing you do is you want to smooth out the compost so it is a uniform one inch depth or a uniform two inch depth and and you you know you I guess what you're really after is you don't want any bare areas and any areas where it's really thick. The one inch depth, obviously there's gonna be a little fluctuation in that and don't get too worried about that. But you do want it as evenly as you can get it. Uh, the next thing is then mix in uh, the compost using uh, a rotary, uh, rotary tilling equipment. And again, you're trying to mix in the compost and that soil into that top four to six inches. And by tilling the soil first, that will help the compost mix in a lot more easily and so that's why you till the soil first it helps that mixing and uh, uh, mix it in there and ideally you just like to make one pass across that site tilling things in and there is such a thing as over tilling and if you till the soil too much then you break down the soil structure and the soil gets too fine and there are problems that come with that so one pass if you can do it would is ideal the tilling uh, function of the tilling is so there's no layers. You want an even uh, homogeneous uh, mix of compost and soil. If you put on more than two inches of compost, it's just too hard to till in. It's just not practical and you're not gonna do a very good job and you'll have problems um, with that if you don't get it tilled in. So stop at two inches. That's, that's the max that you should put on. Uh, our tilling equipment that's about the max that it can handle and then after you've got everything mixed in after you've done the till the soil put the compost on till it again and then you're ready to seed and so prepare the seed bed like you would then normally rake it smooth uh, and, and do the steps that you would normally do to get good establishment which to me would include adding the starter fertilizer uh, welcome to Adelphi University uh, I'm Bob Conahan, the Associate Director of Facilities and Grounds. I've been here for 33 years now, and I'm here to discuss uh, composting and why we use it on the Adelphi campus. Our campus total is about 80 acres of land. Uh, as far as turf areas alone, we have about uh, 18 acres of turf. So uh, on those 18 acres is where we apply the, uh, the compost. Uh, this one particular area we're in right now, uh, we just composted recently with Long Island Compost, their gold product. In the past, we had a compaction problem in this area here and behind us uh, with the soil. And since we've been adding the Long Island Compost to this area, uh, it's self-aerating the soil for us and the compaction has dropped quite a bit. Uh, as you can see, the grass is doing very well here. In the past, uh, we've tried other products on Long Island, but we found that uh, the product we get from Long Island Compost is delivered on time. It's the highest quality that we've seen here on the island. The soil holds the oxygen and water better, so when we put down our seed and our feed products, uh, the results just seem to be uh, overwhelming. The gold product, it, it's such finely strained that it just goes down so evenly with our top dresser that it's, uh, it's a one day it's a one day job here for our 15 acres. We'll get all 15 acres done compost in uh, eight hours with two people. So it's, uh, it's a pretty quick process and the benefits are, well, just look around. Anthony Buffalino, been here about seven years. I'm on the grounds crew. I'm James Galantucci. I've been here for about 17 years on the grounds crew. We use a 50-50 mix of compost and topsoil is what we like to use whenever we top dress. Uh, whenever we do any plantings or anything like that, we do uh, strictly compost. Now, a lot of the challenges are is we have a lot of foot traffic. A lot of the kids use, use the fields for use. Uh, we also have outside organizations that come in and as James pointed out, we do get a lot of winter damage after plowing and whatnot. We do run into a lot of problems where we have to go back and, and repair it. And what we would use is your James compost. And All right, compost and the, the mix, or either just the black gold, and and uh, we seed it, rake it out, and it comes up very quickly. And 
And we would like to add to that is that a lot of the places we do the applications to uh, don't have any irrigation. And even without irrigation, uh, the compost in the seed germinates just as if you had irrigation on it. Every time I call, never wait. And if someone can't help me, I get switched over to someone that can help me. As far as deliveries go, if they stay, they would be here at 6, between 6 and 6.30. You can bank on it. Somebody would be here between 6 and 6.30, and sure enough, they'd be here with no problem. Delivery, driver is very courteous, just very helpful. Very happy with the outcome. Uh, I would say we never have to go back and redo any areas that we started with your product. Product speaks for itself. Uh, great results. And with that, uh, I'm going to stop, but to me, I think of as composting and applying compost to turf, it's an idea that, as I said earlier, it's been around a long time, hundreds of years, and it's just something that I think maybe we had forgotten about a little bit and are now moving back to because of the benefit it provides and the opportunity, in my mind, it provides to really improve the soil and you're solving a problem and not just putting a band-aid on it, you're improving the soil and it's a long-term solution to the problem. For more information, log on to our website at www.licompost.com.